G'day guys, so you might see four drives getting around around town, they've got maybe two, maybe three, maybe four antennas on the bull bar, and you're kind of going like, what's the deal, why do you have two CB antennas? Well chances are, one of them is a phone antenna, or external antenna, however you want to call it. Anyway, in today's video we're going to have a look at what do they do, and do they actually work, is there any point in getting one? Let's go. So you want to get an external antenna set up. There's three things you need. For starters, you have to be on the Telstra network. If you're not on the Telstra network, chances are you're not going to get service anyway, so there's no point in spending the money. Telstra's got the best coverage in the whole of Australia. Unfortunately, on the downside, they are the most expensive. But hey, what do you do? So you're on the Telstra network. Awesome. Now you've got to figure out a way of plugging in your phone to the external antenna. So on some older phones you could buy what's called a patch lead and you could actually plug it into the phone. Sometimes you could take the back cover off and plug it in there as well. But chances are if you've got a modern phone you can't do that. So you have to get what's called an induction cradle. So these just have a pad behind the plastic cover and that's what translates the signal through to the external antenna. So these cradles just have a little FME connection which will hook up straight to your antenna connection like that. So uh, there's a couple of different brands out there. There's Bury and there's Strike. These are Strike Cradles. This one's a phone specific one. They're a bit more expensive, but you can also get a universal one like this and both of them just have a lead on them, which you hook up straight to the antenna. Alrighty, so you're gonna need a phone antenna. So you can obviously get the bull bar variety. It's just kind of a convenient spot. Most four drives just to whack it on there. You can also get different star ones. This one's a little low profile one. This one's a bit taller but they're both just little magnetic ones, so it just depends on the setup you're going for. So how well do these external antennas work? Well, I've had mine for probably about three years now, and I generally find that I'll have reception where most people don't, so generally if I'm heading towards a reception area, I'll find I'll get it five to 10 Ks before everyone, and if I'm heading away, I'll probably get it five to 10 Ks after everyone kind of loses it. So it is pretty handy. Once I was actually camping here, um, I'm in the Bridgetown Greenbushes area at the moment, and uh, we were camping here and a friend of ours was coming and he hit a kangaroo on the way and uh, I was the only one that had service so I was the only one that they could actually communicate with and they actually let us know obviously they hit the kangaroo and the next day we were able to go out and help them but otherwise like that you would have no idea so it is pretty handy in cases like that now the easiest way to check if uh, there will be service where you want it pretty much is to check out the Telstra coverage map when you go in there, you can actually have a look and see where you have service normally with just a phone and where you have it with an external antenna. So it's really handy to be able to see, kind of get an idea like what it will actually give you, whether it's worth it for yourself or not. So right now, I'm pretty much in an area where there is no cell reception according to the Telstra map. But yet right now, I've got a little bit of internet and uh, one bar, which is probably just enough to receive text messages. Not really to check Instagram or anything, but as long as you can get text messages, probably can't make a call. Maybe could make a call, but like we're just getting one bar constantly, which is pretty all right. So they do work. I'm just gonna try calling someone just to see if I can actually call someone. There you go. Yeah, good. How are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, uh, I, I'm just doing a video about external phone antennas, and I thought I'd try and call someone to show how good they work. Yeah, it's not that great because um, you've sort of cut it now. <laughs> okay, no worries. So, uh, we actually had enough range just to call someone, so there you go. It is pretty handy because according to the Telstra map, right now we are in a dead spot, so there you go. So to summarise, are external phone antennas worth it? Well, if you ask me personally, I've had mine for three years. I really like it. You get service generally when nobody else does. And it's often handy if you need to meet up with people or if you have a bit of an emergency or if you just need to communicate with the outside world and sometimes to check Instagram too. But anyway, check out the Telstra coverage map. I'll put a link in the description down below and you can see generally where you have reception. So yeah. I'd say uh, definitely get it. I mean, the price-wise, how much does it cost? Well, 150 generally for a big bull bar antenna. And uh, as far as the cradles go, they're anywhere from 70 to about $350. So it is a bit of a layer, but if you like your tech like me, 
you'll do it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See yous.